lines around the idea of determinism. And I know you had that a lot today at SFU. So the, this one specifically, I'll say, what do you think about psychological, and I'll add neurological experiments, that bring free will into doubt? I don't think that they are convincing. Um, one of the most famous of these would be the experiments by Benjamin Libet, where he asked patients to press a button. And what he discovered is that the neural signals in the brain to move the hand to press the button actually occurred a fraction of a second before the agent was aware of making the choice to push the button. Um, and some, although not Libet himself, but some others tried to interpret this as evidence against free will, that it was the motor functions in the brain that caused the hand to push the button, and this was actually prior to the conscious decision. But as uh, some other philosophers have pointed out, because of the finite velocity at which neural signals travel through the brain along our nerves, it's no surprise at all that there would be a time delay between the decision of the soul or the mind to do something and the consciousness in, uh, in, in mental awareness of that state. Because the consciousness of that state arises through brain states, and these take a finite velocity for the nerve signals to transmit. So in fact, these experiments are exactly what a dualist interactionist would expect to happen. Namely, the soul would make a free decision, and then a split second later, the brain state, which brings this decision to consciousness, would occur. And then after that, the muscular contractions would take place and the hand would move. So in fact, this doesn't do anything really to eliminate freedom of the will. At the most, what these experiments show would be that there are correlations between brain states and mental states. But that doesn't mean that there are no mental states or that mental states have no causal connection or impact upon brain states. Um, and indeed, the argument I gave from intentionality, I think, shows that there have to be these mental states, and they um, are the properties of a self, a soul, a mind. Um, otherwise, you have no intentionality, because the brain is just a glob of tissue, and a glob of tissue is not about something or of something. Uh, and so to have intentionality, you've got to have a mind that is distinct from the brain, even if it uses the brain as an instrument for thought.